Hey everyone, this is Arendelle with another tutorial for you. And today I want to make a tutorial about lip sync. And to some people this name doesn't ring any bells, but they have heard of a program called Rip Sync that's actually pretty similar, but with a lot less manual input. The reason why I'm going to make a tutorial about lip sync is because there's no English tutorials for it and almost no users with an English fluency actually checked out the program and know how to use it. I've managed to tackle the majority of it. Not everything from what I know, but I can always try and delve deep into that. Now, this is going to be a very basic tutorial. I'm probably going to split it into parts. So this should be part one and that's for the basics. Now, if you open lip sync, you have this big working field here. In the middle is the area where you can see a preview of the video you are making. You'll see backgrounds, the characters that are singing, etc. Now over here you have two things that are actually linked. A list of everything that will appear here on the screen. And in here you can see it properties. Here we have some options for playback like the speed, the volume if you have any audio, playing and stopping. And here you can choose the starting point of your video or skip to certain points while playing. And in here is actually where you'll do most work and that's drawing bars like you probably have already done in Uto or in Vocaloid and that will trigger what will happen on the screen. Now before we can actually go and do stuff, we actually first need a model or a character to be here on the screen. So I'm going to add it and say add empty character. I'm not going to focus on backgrounds now or on anything custom, so I'm going to pick Rin. Which is already built in and you do not really need any configurations, she'll just work. Now the first thing that people will see when they do this and what might scare them off is that there's nothing visible when you just import a model. Well, there's two reasons for that. The first one is a video always starts as zero seconds long, which means there's just nothing that's going to be visible at all. So what you want to do is you go to edit, you say video length and for this tutorial, I'm going to make this video 10 seconds. Now, you'll still not see no rin. And the reason for that is in lip sync, you need to draw bars for everything before it's visible. So you go to the working space underneath video preview. And there you go and draw a bar the line that's called base. Just stretch it over the whole video unless you want to hide your character in between but I do not think a lot of people actually want to do that so here you go. After you've done that Ren will pop up because now you've told the program hey Ren should be visible for this time span which is basically the whole video. So she's here in the working field now. We can see her. She doesn't really do anything if you hit play. But she's here. And that makes everything a billion times easier. So in order to position her, you just have to click her and drag and drop her to where you want her. I'm going to choose for the right middle. Well, a little under the right middle. Because I think her pose is pretty much perfect for the corner. Now we want her to actually do stuff. I'll just go over how you can actually make her do things like say stuff and expressions. You just go down here. Say we want her to say O. Oh. Just draw a bar in here. Start to finish or the reverse of that is also possible. 
Just click play and you'll see she'll open her mouth until the bar is gone. That's basically how everything works in here. Show the bass, it's how you show what they sang, it's how you show all the expressions. Like this, these eyes here where she just squeezes her eyes into those lesser than and more than like brackets, symbol thingies. I never know the English names. So if you hit play and you'll notice here that when the bars are finished, you'll change expressions. Well, I do not think there's anything left to tell for me in this first part of this tutorial series. So I'm going to wrap it up and instead of going on about how to make custom models and such, I want to keep this one short. So my next tutorial is probably going to have some solutions to importing troubles and or maybe it will be about custom models. I'm not completely sure what I will choose yet, but I hope to see you all next time. Bye!